Hello and welcome back ladies. If you're new here, I am Jax and this is my channel where I usually share about our infertility, IVF adoption and parenting journey. Today we're going to be looking more on the parenting side of things as I have a new loverly, love every, loverly, I call it loverly but it's love every box here that we got for our wonderful adorable daughter Evangeline and I wanted to share with you what's inside this box. So Evangeline got this as a gift, uh, this monthly subscription from her great grandmother, which we were very thankful for. But we were told, you know, if you don't like it, then we'll go ahead and cancel it. But we loved last month's so, so much. And I thought I'd share with you what's inside this month. So Evangeline just turned 13 months yesterday, two days ago. Wow. And this box is the 13 14 and 15 month box so they send them to you a little bit ahead of schedule so that you can go through them and if you're like me like divvy out the toys like one at a time but let's jump in and see what's inside each box comes with a big cutout that shows you everything that's in it but it also has this cute little flip book that shows you everything inside and then a example of like why they put each toy in there and suggested play and why it's important which i really love um i think it is so easy nowadays to just like put on the TV to entertain your child. And there's such a plethora of toys out there that are electronic. I love the idea of getting a curated set of toys that I know are stimulating her brain in the proper way and the way they should be. Um, I'm not knocking someone putting on a TV for a half hour to get the dishes done, but I think it's important too to balance that with toys that stimulate their brain and have a lot of replay ability. The first thing is this circle of friends puzzle, and it is a wooden puzzle with these circles that pop out, um, and under each one is a different face of a different child, going all the way through. And there's a few things that I noticed right off the bat. One is that these knobs are super thick, which is really helpful. We have a smaller puzzle where the knobs are just really tiny, and she can't, she can get them off, but she can't like get them back in and it's partially because she can't re-grab and manipulate those tiny little pegs that they have. So I love that these have really big knobs even on the tiniest piece. The next one is a big one. It is this slide and sleek box slash slide and it comes with these three balls that you obviously Put, put down like that and then they come down in this cavern and there's a little cloth pouch where you can reach in and get them and there's also doors on all three of the other slides or sides for that um i can already tell she is super gonna love this she very much understands the idea of putting balls up high and then watching them roll down so she's gonna this might be one of the first ones that we give her as you dig around deeper you'll also find the care guide and the inventory so this is another inventory of what's inside but it also tells you how to take care of it and wash it which i just have to say that's one like parenting stipulation I now have is it must be washable. Can you believe they make baby things that you can't wash? What is happening? Next up is this little race car um, with Stella, removable driver. Evangeline already has these like soft cars that she can push along. And so I already know this is gonna be a big hit. So next up we have three different balls. Um, we have this sweet rainbow wedge ball where each of these is a separate little wedge that they can practice pulling apart. It also ties into the colors. You have what they're calling this watercolor ball, which is a much softer um, ball and very light, helpful. Evangeline's super tiny, so very heavy toys are a struggle for her. And then you have this much harder, dense felt ball. And the felt ball ties into the next thing, which is these stacking felt bowls, which are here to teach about relativity of size, as well as again, being really cool and fun colors. So fits in there. Next up are two books. First we have Colorful Foods, which is a board book 
and it has just the different colors and then different foods that are on the page. So you can learn about obviously healthy food groups and foods of different colors, but then just the colors themselves. Very cute. And there's another book called Where's Crew Shoes. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's got little flaps. How that cute is that? And look, it ties in because there's the foods that you learn about in the other book. Oh, that's so cute. And each page has its own little flap. Oh, I love that. Next up are these little mini books and they had a little mini animal book in last month's box, but this is big and little. So each page has something big and something little for them to look at to start to learn relativity again. And then this is clean and messy, which <laughs> we're experiencing in real life every day. Okay, I am really excited about this. So I made a makeshift one of these out of a little canister of like what little poofs come in, the little cheese poofs for them. But um, this is actually a proper coin bank. Um, and these coins are very similar to the ones we've got in last month's box with a wallet. So it kind of ties in. But yeah, it's just a little coin box to help them with some of their fine motor skills. And then the bottom is magnetized to retrieve them. Um, and it comes with a whole stack of coins. I really love that. And I really love that it ties in to last month so I can repurpose those coins to work for this. Very cool. This next one is like a uh, progression of the classic ring stacker. You know, everyone owns one of those ring stackers. This is what they're calling a flexible stacker. And these little discs come off and fit in these little cutouts down there. But this itself is very <laughs> wobbly. I'll have to learn why on earth we want it that way when I read the packet, but they can stack onto here and then stack down onto there. So very cool, loving that. All right, I think looking at everything, I think that spiral ball toy is definitely going to be her favorite. And then I think maybe that rainbow ball is gonna be her next favorite. She really likes balls, but she really loves like textured things. So I think those are gonna be huge hits. Overall, I think this was a great variety of toys and a lot came in this box. I'm really impressed. There's about eight different toys in here if you group like the books and the balls together. So that works out pretty well, giving her one a week um, and then letting her play with them until she gets bored. And then the next box should come in the next few weeks. Like I said, she still has some really big favorites from the last box. It's definitely not like they're out of our rotation. Um, but I'm really pleased with this product so far. Let me know if you have any questions down below. If you want to see more unboxings, hit the like button so I know what's up. And if you want to follow our personal journey, go ahead and hit subscribe. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say except keep on fighting, ladies. Mm -hmm.